Hey guys, welcome back to Power Hour. Today we are going to clean the garage. Um, our power hours have gotten so good that we kind of don't need to clean our kitchen and living room right now. So that's the plus side. So if you were even wanting to do these in your own home, like... Well, they're just awesome. Think? So our home has never been this clean so consistently. I mean, we, we're not dirty or anything, but the power hours just make it really easy to focus on it, get it done. Uh, the kids get into it and uh, we have lots of fun. Yeah. So I, I was the one that said, hey, we need to do the garage. Yeah. I don't know if we can do it all in an hour. I'm trying to get her to do a two hour power <laughs> hours. But anyways, it's good stuff. Um, we got a lot to do in here. Uh, so I'll show you just kind of in general, we just have clutter every about every quarter, every three months or so. We just get like, we don't put things away when we bring it out here. I'm sure everyone can kind of relate. You just kind of put it out here to get it out from the house. <laughs> But it needs to get put away. We need to go through storage buckets that are half empty and kind of sort through them. So that's what we're going to do. Work in a couple different areas around the garage. So let's get going. Uh, oh, let me get my phone. It. Hang on. Okay. So I have the timer set for one hour and it is 10.35. So we are going to start the clock now. So nice. Thank you, Michelle.
Okay. All right, we have two minutes and 40 seconds. I don't know if the sun's gonna be bad on that. So we have all of this to go to um, donate, but our car is getting fixed right now. So that was actually a lot of the reason why we decided to clean the garage today, because we don't have the car in here. So we'll load that up once we get the car back. Um, can't see what's behind there, but we you did when we were filming. So we got all the swim stuff, um, repack it away in those buckets. The top one was breaking. Um, didn't do much up there, but we definitely like stored some of my husband's camping gear better. All of that is his camping, hiking, um, snow gear up there. And then we've got our um, cooler bags right there. And then we've got more bands. More, I know, my husband makes fun of the bins, but it's all organized. That is all of our swimwear, like you just saw us put away. Then we organized our food storage shelves a little bit better. I can do a little video about these if you want. Just got like pastas and drinks in there and then snacks and cereal. So we just kind of need to organize it. Sometimes when I bring it home from the store, I just kind of shove it in. And then just kind of organize this shelf a little bit better. We actually need to go through our long-term storage shelving unit right here. A lot of this has expired. We've had it for about, I don't know, 10 years or so. We need to kind of go through and expire some of it. The best thing is we found a box of Girl Scout cookies. I know, that's his reward. That. That's awesome. And then he didn't do too much up there with his drop down shelving unit, but he has more camping gear. See, he has camping gear like I have craft projects. So then our, I didn't do much with the top ones, but I had some spring stuff to put away in those ones and leftover Valentine stuff to put away and then that's where I keep my recycle bags. I do donations on Saturday, picking them up in those. So then it makes it easier for the, oh, that's our, turn it off, in your pocket. Then the bikes are easy to put away with the kids. So that's it, our uh, car mat is right there, got spilled on. So that is it, folks. Everyone say goodbye to Jason. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thank you for joining us. I know it was a little unconventional to do the power hour in the garage, but I hope that inspired you to uh, do projects that you don't think you can get done in an hour. I know we can clean our kitchen and clean our living room and back in the floors and mop the floors. Now we know we can do that, but now I also know we can do this garage in one hour. Can you do it in one hour? So that is a challenge I wanna give to you. Leave any questions you have in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. We've got power hours, craft projects now that I've got some more time, um, I will get those back up on my channel as well. So join me again next week for Power Hours and keep watching. Thanks.